Okay. Show me. Hi there! Welcome back to the Narcissi channel. Thank you very much for watching for a final review of this XKX250. Well, review slash rant, I should say. <coughs> Sorry, because it's not uh, overly positive. Um, well, uh, as you can see, it is a quadcopter. Pretty nice plastics. Uh, the, the, the quality of the plastics used for the quadcopter and the transmitter is pretty good. The transmitter itself is uh, pretty comfortable to fly. I've heard some people uh, say that the range isn't too good, but I haven't had that problem myself. Um, apart from that, the XKX250 is a very easy quadcopter to fly. Quadcopter, I would uh, say a beginner would do well with. Um, it comes with a full set of spare propellers, uh, a wall charger, so you're uh, set to go after you've purchased, purchased uh, a set of double A's for the transmitter. Okay, so once again, for a beginner, uh, a nice quadcopter. Uh, you get around uh, 8 minute flight time, which is uh, decent I think. And uh, once again, it's very stable and it flies predictably. Uh, okay, and that was the positive part of this review slash rant. Um, the quadcopter is advertised as having Futaba SF FHSS protocol so you should be able to fly it with a Futaba transmitter. It does not, not at all. Uh, a telltale sign of that is that it doesn't have a bind uh, button. Most SHS uh, receivers have a bind button so there is no way to use this quadcopter with your Futaba transmitter so that's basically false advertisement. Um, the next thing um, it is advertised as having uh, a pressure sensor needle or uh, altitude hold. It does not. Several people on the internet have taken the quadcopter apart and looked at the electronics. I'm not an electronics, uh, an knowledgeable electronics person, but uh, the quadcopter does not have a barometer or any other kind of uh, pressure sensor. So it does not have an altitude hold function. Uh, not at all. It is pretty stable in hover, but uh, it does not have an altitude hold function. The third thing, uh, it is advertised as having uh, auto landing if you fly it out of range or if your transmitter fails. It does not. Not at all. Uh, it just drops out of the sky if you, uh, for instance, uh, switch your transmitter off or if you fly out of range, it'll just drop out of the sky. Uh, it does a little bit of auto rotation, so it'll drop a little slower, but nothing uh, really to, uh, to speak of. Okay, and it is sold as being a quadcopter which you can use for FPV flying. Well, yes, uh, there are uh, connectors for FPV cameras on it and uh, mounting brackets, I'd uh, call them. Uh, so you can mount an FPV camera on this quadcopter. However, the image will be pretty uh, shaky. So, uh, so yes, it is possible, but I would not recommend this quadcopter for FPV use at all. Um, so, well, with all those uh, false advertisements, huh, I'm not sure what to say. Can I recommend this quadcopter? Because of that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm reluctant to support a brand that does this kind of false advertisement really. 
Uh, it is, yes, it is a nice flyer for beginners. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, it lacks in speed. Uh, if you fly it with the stock remote, yeah, that's another gripe around uh, about this quadcopter. If you fly it with the stock remote, you only have access to about around 60% uh, of the speed potential of the quadcopter, which is really strange. Um, if you fly it with a WL Toys remote, such as this one here, you do get um, at least bank and pitch around 100% uh, of the quads potential. Um, the yaw rate still is pretty slowish. So, well, um, <laughs> that's it. Um, oh yeah, I have several videos about this quadcopter. I'll put a link up uh, in this video to my other videos about this quadcopter. So you can have a, a look for yourself what uh, the flight with this quadcopter is like. And make up your own mind, of course. Uh, don't take my word for it, just look at the videos and make up your own mind. For now, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye!